There's a lot of questions right now about the creative arts and AI and how AI is going to change a lot of things. AI is going to be a big game changer for a lot of industries, and it definitely affects creative arts. There's a lot of questions about the ethics of using AI for art, for writing, for whatever it may be. In this video, I want to discuss how I think AI is actually going to make being a creative even better and how it might actually really benefit creatives. Here we go. Huzzah! Okay, so there's a lot of things going on right now with AI. AI is everywhere, especially since the rise of like ChatGPT and all these things. It's really just gotten explosive in how it's being used and everything. And there's a lot of ethical questions right now about how it's being used in the artistic ways, whether it's arts, writing, music, all that kind of stuff. Even so far as in Marvel's new Secret Invasion show, they actually used AI to create the opening sequence to the show. A lot of people are unsure about that. A lot of people aren't really sure what to think about that. I personally am kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Um, I think that was an interesting choice for them, but that's what they did. So it's starting to become a very pervasive thing within the arts community, and a lot of people are concerned about it. But I'm going to tell you why I think you shouldn't be concerned about it. Humans are built for connection, and we need each other. We need to connect with each other. We are also built for creation. While obviously AI is not going away, it's definitely going to disrupt some industries and you are going to see content out there, whatever it may be, whether it's films or TV or whatever, that has that has used AI to create it. Ultimately, I believe that humans' need for connection with other humans is going to drive an even better creative market for those who are creative. Here's what I mean. We need other humans, and because we are built for connection and creation, I believe that we will always want to support a real artist, someone who truly dedicates themselves to their craft, who truly knows what they're doing. It's the reason we love Tolkien, Christopher Nolan, Steve Jobs, it, those people. We love them for the things that they create or created, but we also love them because of the story behind the story the story behind how they created what they created. We love them because, you know, Tolkien spent his life dedicated to creating Lord of the Rings and the world surrounding Lord of the Rings and the care he took to develop the languages, the mythos, all of the legends, every single character. He truly poured his heart and soul into it. And that's just something that you're not going to get with AI or creatives who use part of AI. Same with someone like Steve Jobs. While he wasn't necessarily in the arts per se, the reason that Apple became what it was is because of what he poured into it, his dedication to it. Not, you know, he he even poured into it so much so that it was to the detriment to even some of the relationship around him. My point being, we love the story surrounding Steve Jobs as well as the things that Steve Jobs built. And all of these people in their own different way, those three specifically, but a lot of people like this, changed the world. Tolkien changed the world with how he created and wrote his stories. A really great example of this right now is Brandon Sanderson. He is cranking out stories and novels and building this Cosmere universe, and he's in touch with the fans, he's talking to the fans, he's really engaging with them and showing them a part of his world and showing them how he's creating it. And so we're engaged in the stories because we love the stories that he is creating, but we also love how it's being created and how it's being constructed and the care and the love that he's putting into it. Inevitably, there's going to be a large body of content and work that's going to be created with AI, whether that's art, whether that's music, books, TV, movies, whatever. There's going to be a large body of work that gets created by AI and it gets pushed out by all these big companies and they're going to want us to consume it. And I won't even necessarily say that that stuff's going to be bad. Some of it might actually end up being really good. Some of it may be, you know, things you want to consume. It might come from the big ones like Star Wars and Marvel where people, you know, actually want to consume that content. And I'm not even saying that's a bad thing. My point in all of this is I believe the, the creatives who can truly master their craft, create something totally from themselves and from their own mind, and who pour their love and genuine, sincere, creative energy into a project. To me, AI is going to present an opportunity to those people to be even more successful, to be even more adored, 
because they did so without the use of AI. While AI is here to stay, it's definitely not going anywhere. Those who can take advantage of being true creatives, who can be the ones who create something from start to finish without using AI, without using any kind of outside technological help, those creators are truly going to set a new level of creative integrity and ultimately be the most successful. This also leads itself into the fact that creatives who want to compete with AI and keep their creative integrity intact and create it without the use of an AI, those people I think are going to push themselves to an even higher level of creativity. So we're going to get better stories, we're going to get cooler things from the people who choose to not use AI but compete with AI. All AI can do, at least at this point, obviously technology is moving faster than ever and things are going to change, but all it can really do is kind of create a compilation of things that have been done before. It's not truly completely creating things on its own. And so the people who can harness their own creativity without the use of AI, I think it's going to push them because they're competing with this thing that can already do what everyone else is doing. It's going to push them to be even better creatives and create even more amazing stories and amazing movies and TV shows. All that to say, I don't think that AI is going to necessarily destroy the creative arts. I think, as a lot of people are saying, I think it's going to actually create a new level of creative integrity and it's going to create new levels of success for the people who can create without AI and keep their creative integrity. Thank you so much for watching this video of Writing Quest. Make sure to check the description below for links on where you can find us on other social media, where you can support us. And we thank you so much for all that support. There's a lot of new people subscribed to the channel recently, so big shout out to them. Thank you for joining, and we will see you next time on Writing Quest. Huzzah!